My name is Maureen Akinyotieno. I'm a clinical officer at uh, Port Health JKIA. Donning is one of the requirements for when you're dealing with a communicable disease. And uh, the requirements, that is the, the gown, two pairs of gloves, a mask, a Google, and then you have your sanitizer with you if you're not in a place where you can get water and soap. After you've changed into your scrubs, you will wash your hands or sanitize. and then you will put on your glove. After the gloves, you will put on your gown, ensuring that it is fitting and it is of the correct size. And then from the gowns, you'll ensure you have your enforcers for the boots. You wear your rubber boots. Next, you will put on your mask. After the mask, you're going to put on your Googles fasten it and ensure it, it is fitting properly. Then you will put on the wood of the, of the gown. The apron comes last. Then your assistant will write your name and the, and the time you put on the, the gown, which is very important so that you are, you are able to tell how long you're going to take in the, in the PPE. You're not supposed to have it on for more than four hours. The name is important because it is proper for identification. When you're done, you're not supposed to touch any part near your, your face. Remember, we have the mask and the Googles on. Number one, you might be suffocating. Number two, you can, your Googles can clog. You're not supposed to touch. Once that happens, you're supposed to move out of where the patients are and remove the whole suit. When you're using the, the PPE, you're supposed to, anytime you, you touch one patient, you're supposed to go remove the outside glove and put on another glove so that we we cut off the mode of transmission, like cutting infection from one person to another. Remember, this is personal protective equipment. As you protect yourself, you're also protecting the, the patients. Doffing is technically taking out the protective equipment. So number one, you must have your assistant and your, the person who is going to help you through removing the, the PPE. And in disinfection, we use chlorine solution. The concentration is 0.5%. Yes. So that one helps in case there is any contamination that happened. So we start by sanitizing or using the 0.5% jig to clean the outer glove. After that, you're going to remove the apron. After removing the apron, we are going to clean the hands again. After cleaning the hands again, we remove the outside glove. So you can have that one removed or sometimes when you're removing the, 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 the gown, it comes out with it. There's a way we do it. Then after that, you are going to locate the zip of the suit. Technically, we normally have a mirror and if you don't have a mirror, you will follow the zip with your hand up to where the zip is, the tip of the zip. Then you pull it down. When you do that, it avoids you touching your mucous membrane or anywhere near your face. Then from there, you are going to pinch your wood from behind, then let it fall on your back. Then you are going to let the shoulders go down as you remove, your hands will be behind you. Why? So that your hands don't come in front to contaminate your face. So once that one has been done, it will fall down on the behind part. And then you will take it down. You can, use, you can remove it using your hands, but now you touch the inside part of the, of the suit. So that you do not touch the outside which is contaminated. Then once it is below your knee, you can step on it using your two your two legs as you step on it, it goes down and then once it is all out, you pick it from the inside and you put it in the, in the dustbin. Remember, our mode of, of uh, transmission of the infection is through our mucous membrane, that is your mouth, 
and your nose and your eyes. So we have the mask on, we have the goggles on. So you have to clean now the inside gloves is still on in case it touched any other part of the of the suit that was contaminated. After that, you are going to remove the goggles first. The goggles are reusable. You trace the straps of the Google from the ears and then you hold it from behind. You bend down forward and you pull it. After doing that, you're going to drop it in the 0.5% G concentration. Then after that, you clean your hands again. And then now you trace the straps of the mask. And then there you are. You remove it again, you bend forward so that it doesn't touch you. And you remove it and dispose it to the dustbin. From there, you clean the gloves again, then you remove it and you throw it. Then you can now sanitize the boots. Remember the boots are also reusable. So once you are out of the red zone, that is the infectious region, you can remove the boots and put them also in 0.5% milk.